There are a number of different valve holding chambers available on the market. Um, I don't have a personal preference over which one I use clinically. Uh, often it's determined by whoever does the purchasing in the hospital anyway. Uh, this particular one is called the Opti Chamber. The Opti Chamber comes packaged with the mouthpiece. If you're using the Opti Chamber in a patient population that is not capable of using the mouthpiece, they may be too young, they may be uh, an older person, they may be in acute respiratory distress, we have a number of options to use in these patient populations. Um, Opti Chamber actually markets their product. We see we have a small mask, a medium mask, and a large mask. And in essence, the small mask is designed for the neonatal population, the medium mask more the pediatric population, and the large mask would be for the adult population. Okay. Uh, if you had a neonate that you had to administer a medication to, a meter dose inhaler, you would select the small mask to fit onto the opti chamber. Okay. If you were dealing with an adult patient who was not capable of using the mouthpiece or not capable of doing a breath hold for you, you can actually use an adult mask and that'll interface onto the opti chamber itself. And then we have an adult mask set up. All right, so we can see there's a number of different ways that the manufacturers have, have chosen to design their products. We have the um, opti chamber on the back side here, okay, and they're individual mass, the neonatal, the pediatric, and the adult. And on the front side, uh, we see that uh, the aerochamber group have decided to go with merging and incorporating the mask with the holding chamber itself. So we have a neonatal mask and holding chamber. We have a pediatric mask and holding chamber. And we have an adult mask and holding chamber.